everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And uh, I've got one more snowy project for you guys. I just, I couldn't resist. I had to do one more snowy Christmas project. I just love, these are so much fun. Uh, and so I've got a little snowy project here. I've used the little snowman the door and the uh, the lamp post. So I'm gonna show you how to put this together. It doesn't take very many stamps actually, and it's not very hard. So I think you're gonna really enjoy this project. I hope you try it. So here's what we're gonna need. <clears throat> we're gonna need a few things. We're gonna use this snowman by itself. So we're going to take off this little girl, although you could just leave her on here. That would be really cute too. You could leave her on here hugging the snowman, put the door in the background in the lamp post. That would be so cute. So give that a try. Uh, in this case, we're going to take her off. Uh, we are going to use the lamp post that's on here. Uh, we're going to use the fir tree set. So I'm just using these two fir boughs right here, the ones that kind of bend to the right and the left. So we're going to use those two. And then this old rustic door right here. You could use either of these. Um, they will all work, but I'm going to use this one. And then uh, on the wall te texture set, I'm going to use this one. So it looks like kind of like... Um, old paneling on here and so I'm going to use it uh, up and down and then across this way also horizontal. So we're going to use that one and then one of these little branches set and and what this what we're doing with this little branch we're just putting in his little arms so you could use any branch that you have. I just picked this one but you could of course use any piece of any of these branches they would all work um, to put his little arms in. And that is all it's going to take. So we are going to get started on this project and get going on it. It is super, super simple. Uh, we're going to start with the door. And if you look at it, let me show you one more time. Uh, it's very light. And I really, really wanted to make it very light, very airy. So there's not a lot of t detail. Uh, the thing is, is when you group everything in tight like this, you don't have to show as much detail. You don't have to keep going on and on. The snow doesn't have to come down to the bottom of the card. You don't have to show the side of this little shed or the top of the shed. And if you keep everything kind of tight in, uh, the detail doesn't matter as much. So when you have to do something that's quick and easy, that's a really um, good little trick to keep in mind. Uh, just keep it all really tight and close in, and then you don't have all that detail to do. And along with that, I kept it really, really light. So we are going to be stamping off all of these images to make sure that we've got it really, really light. So we're going to start out with that door, and I'm going to ink it in two colors. So of course, that would be our two basic colors that we start with all the time. And it is the 969 and the 565. So because it is a wood door, we're gonna do the brown last. So the blue first. And, uh, and let me show you this one more time. So I, I took the window out and I just put the wreath in here. Now that's up to you too. You could leave that window in and just put a little wreath behind it or some lights and make a little tree behind it. That would be really cute too. So I just chose to take it off and put a wreath on here. So we are going to color everything but that window. So we're just gonna come down like this, get all the hardware on here, and just be careful not to touch that little window. And then we're gonna come back over it again with the brown. And those of you guys who have watched any tutorials of mine, you know this process very well. We use the two colors on here. And then uh, we're going to stamp it off now. So I've got a piece of scratch um, watercolor paper and I'm going to stamp it off here a couple of times. I want it really, really light. So I think even one more time. And now I'm gonna take some of these corners off. I'm just gonna rub these off here and these areas on the side because it is snowy and so we wanna see those, um, those corners gone. So now I can stamp this in the center of my watercolor paper and that is good right there that's how we want it really really light just like that so now we're going to come in with a snowman and we're going to ink this one up uh the whole thing well whatever we're using of it so i'm i'm going to make him a little bit shorter so i'm only going to ink to about half half of the the last section of the snowman so just about halfway down uh, of course we're not going to ink any of this little girl here so I'm gonna go over it all with the blue first. Now, same two colors. I'm gonna go over all of it. 
um, all of it that I'm using. So the scarf, uh, not the not the little stick arm. We're not going to use that one. Uh, the buttons, and then about halfway down um, this section here. And then I'm going to go over everything that isn't snow with the dark brown. So the hat, I'm just gonna go back over this again, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the scarf, the buttons, and then everything else is snow. So I have already stamped it onto my, um, my little plexiglass. Uh, my positioner. So let me see where I put that. Here it is. So I've st just to save time. So I've stamped it on here and I'm going to put it um, next to the door pretty closely, uh, just down a little bit from the hinge. So I would say right about here. And if you, you really want to know exactly where I'm putting it, I uh, just kind of line the button up with the bottom of the door handle. And I tip him back a little bit. I think that makes him a little more uh, fun and animated. It looks like he's looking up and he just, I feel like he has a little more personality when you do that. Uh, tuck him in really close so his nose is just right against that door. And then just stamp him on here like this. Now I'm going to stamp him off first. So before I do anything, I'm going to stamp him off and make sure he is super, super light. And again, you know, maybe three times. I think that's pretty good. And now I can place him in here like this. And you still don't wanna to push too hard. You just wanna lightly get him in here. He's gonna be really, really soft. So now let's go on to the, um, the lamppost. Let me get these out of the way here. And we can, uh, you, you know, you can, use the, um, you can use the positioner on this if you want to, but um, I think you can eyeball it pretty, pretty easily. So this is metal now, so we're gonna use the dark brown first and then the blue, the dark blue. So we're gonna do this um, area here uh, with just the blue. So we don't wanna ink that in the brown. So we're gonna kinda go over all of this, this area here with the brown. Uh, including this little notch up above, and then come back over the whole thing with the blue. And again, I'm gonna stamp this off, you know, three times. One, at least one or two or three times. See how dark that is still? Uh, we don't want it very dark. And then I'm going to just come in here and take off a little bit of this lamppost um, with my thumb. So just this section in here, I want this to be really light. I'm putting that greenery in here, so I want this to be light. And then I also want um, this off here because I'm gonna tuck this into the snow. So I'm just taking that off. And then I'm going to stamp it um, just, just alongside my door, just make sure that it's straight. And again, don't push too hard. And that is just exactly what we want. Okay, so we've got all three of our images now tucked in here. and. You know, never give up at this stage because it always looks like how in the world is this going to come together, but it really does. By the time you start adding the foliage on here, getting your snow in, getting all your little details in, it's going to come together. So never, never give up at this stage. Never do that. Okay, so let's get started on this little guy. Let's start out with the snowman and our trusty pencil here. And let's let's finish him off. So he's he's going to have his little chest here and then his the rest of his body is going to come out and then i'm just going to i'm going to tuck him around and bring this around the little driveway here or the little sidewalk and the same here i'm just going to bring this around just with my pencil so that i can kind of eyeball and see where everything is going and you can see that already gives you a little more perspective as to what's happening in this little composition okay so it makes it a little easier when you go to add the color in here and you can see exactly where the snow is going. Okay, so let's go ahead and start out with this little snowman and we're going to um, pull the color out of the line. It's gonna be really, really light and that's what we want. So very, very light. And just pull this color out. See these rounded areas on his little scarf? Wanna see a highlight on the top? Same with his little carrot nose. I want to see a highlight up there, even though it's small, it's still important. And then this area, of course, is no color because that's the, 
That's the pencil that we use, but go ahead and pull the blue, the color of the blue out. We can pull some of that out here on the side. And you can see it's starting to take shape already. So I'm going to add some green now to my palette. And this is the cool green, so this is the number 249. I'm gonna add this onto my palette and dip my brush, pinch it off always, always pinch it off. And then I'm gonna take some of this color now and brush it on. So I wanna see a highlight, and now he's tipped up. So his hat is tipped up, he's looking up, so he's gonna have a highlight right here. And the same with his little, the bill of his hat. So just leave that, you know, leave a little bit of highlight on there. It really, really makes a difference. Same with the top of his scarf here. He's going to have that. And, and just like we pulled the color out of the lines, he's going to have a little highlight here where the fold of his scarf is. And you can see that really, really makes a difference when you want to make it look three-dimensional. See how that highlight just really, really um, makes it look like it has contours. And now we can come back in with a little darker color here. And brush that in. Of course, we wanna still leave that, um, that area of the highlight. You know, underneath, this is gonna be darker in here. And you know, we could put a little hat band on, so that would be even darker. You know, if you think you're getting too much color, just, just pinch your brush off. You know, that will take care of it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna add a little detail onto here now with my fine tip. And I'm just gonna make some little stripes on his scarf, just like this. And then, you know, we can add a little detail onto his hat band too. And I'm just gonna soften this up a little bit. It's not so harsh. And that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to add some brown now to my palette. This is that dark brown, same dark brown we used to start. And I'm going to just add a little color now to his little nose here. and you know, still leave that highlight um, on the top, it's so important. Uh, I'm gonna take my twin tone now, and my this is my really tiny little fine tip, and I'm gonna darken his eyes, and I think this makes such a difference when you do this step. Don't ever forget this step, it's so important to get that in there dark. Same with his little buttons. Just like this. If you want, you can add a few more cutting down. You know, try to keep keep it from going in a straight line. Kind of bring that around. It's gonna look like it's he's got more of a rounded belly. And I think I'm just gonna add this detail back in here where his little hat is. And now let's add some blue to him. Now see how that, <laughs> let me just show you this. See how see how gray that is from, that's from the um, inking my stamp. So if that happens, be sure to clean off your um, your marker. So just like this, just, just clean it off like this till you get that blue back. So that happens to me all the time because I'm using that to ink right over the top of the brown. And so a lot of times I'll get that, um, I'll get that gray color. So now I'm going to take some of this blue over. I feel like it's out of the screen here. There we go. I think that's better. And we're just going to stroke on the same thing. Now it's the same idea. We want to see that highlight. So anything that has a contour like this is going to be darker on the side. So you want to always brush that color on where it's the darkest. And when it's a circle like this, it's going to be on the side. And we can put a little bit over here too. He's going to have, you know, this is going to be dark under his little hat. 
and under his scarf. Sorry, that's kind of blowing. And then, you know, just keep it light to start, you know, because you can always go back in and add a little darker color, but it's really hard if you get it in there too dark to go back and lighten that up. Same down here. And just kind of drag this color to the center. Okay, just like that. We can take some of this blue now and just kind of bring it around like this. And you can see we've got our little snowman. He looks like he's about finished. So let's go on to the door here. Let's go on to this section. So we're going to, again, pull the color out of the line, start out this way, and just kind of drag that color out. You're gonna get a mix of color. You're gonna get that gray, really nice gray tone uh, because you've got you know that blue and that brown mixed together. Even though we stamped it off several times, you're still gonna get that really nice gray. And then I'm I'm gonna drag this color out to the side as well because um, you know this is a wall here, so we want to see that there's color. Uh, we want to see there's color on the wall. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and get our greenery in here, and we're gonna do that with with the little fur boughs. So let's start out this way, going this direction. And we're just going to uh, just keep, you know, hanging this over. You can hang it over as far as you want. And actually you can bring some of this up a little bit like that. That's kind of cool. You know, um, cedar boughs like this, they, they do that. They kind of, you know, bend like that. Kind of go all directions. And let's just hang this one down a little bit more. I'm just gonna turn my, my paper a little bit. And then I'm gonna take the smaller one, this one here, and just do my little wreath. So I'm gonna start in the center like this and just kind of work my way around. So again, I'm turning my, I'm turning my paper so that it's easier for me to, to stamp. And it doesn't, you know, have to be in a perfect circle at all. And I think it's better if it isn't. You know, these little fur boughs, they just kind of go every direction. And then let's go ahead and stamp it onto, well, while we've got this, let's go ahead and stamp it onto the, um, the little light, light post, lamp post. And this one, you can, you know, you can stamp this, you know, as high up as you want, as you want to do. I'm gonna turn this now and go the other way. And now we can add some, some water in here. And just dab. You know, be really careful about how much water you put in here because you wanna see these details and see that these are little fur boughs in here. Just touch it, you know, pinch your brush off. Just make sure you're just touching it. No brush strokes. You're just softening um, what you've just stamped. That looks good. And now let's get this in here. And let's go ahead and finish up this little lamp post here since we've already got the, the greenery on it. And I'm just kind of pulling that, that color out. It's very light, but that's what we want. And then we'll be able to see that, um, see that wall behind it. And you know, I'm just, I'm pulling some of this color out because I wanna see this uh, reflection onto the wall. Even though this little shed is white, we're gonna see a lot of um, color on here, different colors. 
I think that just makes it look more realistic. And same with the top up here. Just pull some of this color up. And I think I'll just darken in this little door handle here using my fine tip. And then in underneath here, I'm just gonna go back in and get some of these darker areas here. It's always better to go in later and add a little more color than to do it too dark. It just looks a lot more natural to do it that way. Let's put our little snow on here. A snowy area. And I'm gonna add some yellow now to my palette. I want this little lamppost to be on and bright. So I'm just gonna add a little light in here. Okay, that looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna bring this down like this and add a little more blue in here. And let's just add a little blue up in here too. And a really simple way to add another detail is to just draw a straight line with your pencil, just like this. And you can, you can draw your pencil across like this too. And you can easily put in a little step. And you're just gonna make that dark. And you can erase that, you can erase that little line, that little step line later. But see how easy that is? Just put a little step in. Let's add a little snow under this lamp post here. And I'm just gonna add some of this brown now and put a little more color into the door. So this is very light. This is that brown um, that we used in the very beginning. So you can see it, you don't you don't need a lot of colors, you really don't. And it's really, you know, um, it's really a good idea to just mix the colors and get a combination of colors rather than using the same one. It's gonna look a lot more natural. So if you get it on your palette and you end up mixing it with something else, um, I think that's a good thing. Okay, so I'm gonna add some detail now onto my little uh, lamppost. Uh, where I can see it here, I'm just gonna add some red. Like that, and maybe some red to my little snowman. And then let's add some red in here, of course. So I'm gonna I'm gonna add some detail now to this little wreath and just hang it from up here and maybe put a little string on it like that. I'm gonna add some berries. And I'm just using my fine tip and putting them in like that. I can add some in here as well. And up here. We can just have berries everywhere. I just think they're so cute. And a little bit of red accent just makes it so cute. So let's go ahead now and stamp in his little arms. And I'm just gonna use that little, that little branch. It's actually just a little tree. And I can use just part. I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, my post-it tape and just cover him up here so that I don't get uh, this on, on the front, I'll show you what I mean. And I'm just gonna ink, the, ink this with the dark brown. And I don't, I don't need the whole thing. So I'm just gonna stamp this in here, oh, probably just like that. So you can see it's behind him because I covered that up. So now in this case, um, I don't need that tape because I can show this uh, coming out this way. And maybe I just want to stamp it on here like that. So his little arms are in. We've got his arms in. That looks pretty good. 
Uh, let's go ahead and put the detail in. Now you see what I mean by grouping this all together. When you keep everything close and tight, you really don't need to see a lot of other detail. And on this one, I've got this background in here, so you can see I've got the detail into the shed, but honestly, when you keep it this close, you don't really even have to do that. You can just leave it off, especially if you're in a hurry. But if you do wanna do it, I'll show you how. So I have cut a mask for these because you really do need to keep these covered, um, especially when it's, you know, it's light like this, the lamppost. Now you can stamp over the greenery, that's no big deal. But especially this guy, we want to cover him up. So just like that, just cover his face up so that he's not showing. We're not stamping over the top of him. And then I will would take a piece of uh, post-it tape like this and cover the door. You know, you don't have to get all of it, um, but you don't want to stamp over the top. Okay, and now you can put your background in. So here it is, here's our little background. And you wanna do this pretty light, so uh, just a light gray is going to work great. And you know, you don't have to do very much. So just like that, sink it again. It's just the idea of it. And the more detail that you get, uh, the more that you have to show. So in here, and maybe one more, maybe right here. So now we can see that little detail in the back. And you want to use your um, use your brush and really, you know, soften this up. So you can't really see where it ends. You know, just come down next to it and just really soften it up. Just so that you have an idea of it and that's it. And then we can take all of this off. And then of course you will want to just add a ton of glitter to this because that would just be so cute to sparkle it up. And I wish it would show on here, but unfortunately um, it just doesn't do it justice. So of course we need to sign a date. And let's just remove, um, let's remove our pencil lines here, including this little step. You can see how easy that is to just add a little step on there. So easy to do. And I think I will just one more thing here. And that is to just put a little darker line right underneath this door, just like that. And there we go. We are finished. Oh, what? We are almost finished. I'm just gonna add a few more little shadows in here. I should have done this, really important, um, to add some shadows. Otherwise, you can't tell that it's uh, in the front of something. And here underneath um, this little guy, wanna see that little shadow under his, under his arm. That's also really important. Okay, now we are finished with our project. I hope you like this project. Uh, thanks for tuning in and thanks for following me. I appreciate it so much. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and Happy New Year. And I will be back in January and I hope to see you all then. Thanks so much for watching. See you next year.